Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to code your own scoreboard for your server with script. Or sidebar, I don't know what it's called. So the plugins you're going to need this time are just script and SKB. Okay, so you're going to want to hop into the text editor of your choice. I'm using Visual Studio Code. So you're going to start off with onjoin. So this will execute every time the player joins the server. While the player is online. So this is a loop that will loop infinitely as long as the player is online. So you're going to say set title points. Scoreboard 2. So you can make it whatever, something like something like this. So basically, this will be in dark grey bold. So this is just a symbol I'll leave in the description of the video in this too. And this is just saying my server in yellow and uh, in gold. Okay, now this is where it gets a bit strange. So as you see here, it's set line of place, set line one of place, scoreboard two, and then there will be text here. So basically this is reversed. So seven will be the top, so this will be just below the title, and this will be line one will be at the bottom. So for the top line, I'm just going to put info in yellow. And then here, I'm just going to make it say the player's name. So space space. Uh, I'm going to leave this Unicode in the description of the video. So this just says player in yellow and then the player's name in grey. So on this line, I'm going to make it say the active player count of the server. So in grey, size players. Then we're going to make a slash in dark grey. In grey again, max players. And at the end. I'm going to put players in yellow. Now this line I'm actually going to leave open, just as like a space. And then here I'm going to put stats. So up here in these two lines, I'm going to put the amount of kills and the amount of deaths that the player has. So we're going to use variables to do that. Okay, so the variables will be... Kills. And then the player's UID. So you can just copy-paste this up here and rename it to deaths. Okay, so to actually use these variables, so down here, we're going to say on death, attacker is a player, and then we're going to say add one, two, and we're going to copy paste this, and we're going to change player to attacker. So this just adds one to the kills of the attacker. And then we're going to do on death again, victim is a player, and we're going to say add one, two, and we're going to paste that, but deaths. I'm going to change that to victim, victims UID. Okay, one last thing. We used to do on join if the variables are not set, set them to zero. Then we're going to copy paste that and do the same for kills. And then just change all the victims UIDs to players. And then one last thing. At the end of this loop, you're going to say wait one second. This is just so that the server doesn't crash, because this would repeat infinitely with no wait in between. And then, one mistake I made, you need to make these grey. So you're just going to want to copy this and head over to your minor panel. You're going to go to Farm Manager, Plugins, Script, Scripts. Then you're going to want to create a file, preferably name it scoreboard. It has to have .sk at the end. I already have mine created. And you're going to paste it in there and press save. Okay, now you're going to want to head over to your Minecraft. Okay, now you're going to want to head over to your Minecraft server and do such sk reload and then your script name. Mine is scoreboard. And now to activate the scoreboard, you're just going to want to leave and join back. And then when you join back, it should look something like this. So you can change my server to whatever you want the server name to be. Then it should say info and then your player name and then the amount of active players on the server right now then stats, and then your kills and deaths. So let's test the kills and deaths right now, so let me just get a sword quickly. So if I kill the skeleton, my kills should go up by one. And yeah, they do. So, if I go into survival quickly, or well, I can just slash kill myself. So if I slash kill, then my deaths go up by one. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys with creating a scoreboard for your server. If you need any help, then just DM me from my Discord server, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, cheers.